Hello Zebra Herd, welcome to Blue Adventure Time Tower Defense. I really don't know what this is. Ninja Kiwi has been tweeting out new teasers for a new game, and I guess it was Bloons Adventure Time Tower Defense. I know about Adventure Time, I know about Balloons, so I figured this'd be a great combo. You guys know we've been very busy the last couple weeks playing the brand new Balloons game, Balloons Tower Defense 6, so I don't know how much I'm gonna be playing of this game. If you guys enjoyed this first episode, let me know, but since I'm so focused on so many new games, especially BTD6, I don't know how much time I'm putting into this one, but I like this theme song. It's like a mix between the Adventure Time and the Balloons theme, and the coolest thing about this one, unlike BTD6, which I think is like $5, on the online mobile store. This is totally free to play from what I saw. So hopefully it's a good time. It seems to be basically the monkeys and Adventure Time characters beating up balloons. So I'm gonna wait for this download to finish and we're gonna get started with Balloons Adventure Time Tower Defense. All right, so it's finally done downloading. That took a while, like 10 plus minutes, but let's get started with this. I'm excited to see. Whoa, a portal to the land of who? And balloons immediately leak in, because what else would balloons do? Oh my gosh, there's a lot of balloons, even the zebra balloons. Hey, okay, I'm glad to see those. <laughs> what about this one? Oh, oh, he almost missed his flight. He's fine now, I think he made it. All right, N now what? Do we, how did the monkeys get in now? Oh my, look at that Moab. That is a lot of balloons. This is cool, this has like its own story. Like BD6 doesn't even have its own story. I don't know, I mean, I guess like Finn has a sword, so I'm guessing he can pop some balloons. Let's see what ends up happening here. Whoa. Lots of colorful things headed this way. Oh, that's cool, there's even voice acting. Hold up, they're balloons. Mm-hmm. Wow, so many of them and they just keep coming. Um, Jake? No. Jake! Oh no, what happened? He, uh, Jake didn't even get to talk. I'm in the zone, dude. Jake! Oh no, he's getting overwhelmed by balloons. Zone, Finn, the zone! And then there's their actual voice actors too. Your characters will attack the balloons automatically, just drag them onto the map and let them do their stuff. Oh, this is so cool. All you right. Love balloons, but these guys are hecka menacing. I can't let them near the tree fort. It looks like this is the path they'll follow. Hmm, okay. So yeah, we, we should be able to place Jake down. Still no sign of Jake. Guess it's up to me to hold them off. Should be able to place Finn down, sorry. Okay, so it's been a while since I've lost a, a, a last watch Adventure Time, but it wants me to put Finn there. To reach the balloons from here. Yep. Come at me, balloons! So just like all the other balloons tower defense games, it is a tower defense game. So we're setting up our units and they're attacking and we can go. Man, this is like it's full on thing. I didn't know if it was gonna be like a reskin BDD6 with, with like Adventure Time stuff. It's its own thing. Man, they must have been busy this year making all of this. This is really cool. Cause it is made by the same, you know, team that made BDD6. I could cash for popping balloons. Yeah. Time for an upgrade. Okay, so we should be able to select Finn and this choose one of his upgrade paths. Faster. The balloons don't stand a chance. Oh wow, so there's actually Four upgrade? Maybe, maybe it's not actually. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's just do rather faster. Huh? Yeah, feel my power. Okay, so let's start another round. I wonder if there's only going to be one path for upgrading. You know, like with BDD6 and other BDD games, there's usually more than one upgrade path per monkey. With the newest game, Bones Tower Defense 6, you actually get three separate upgrade paths. You can only do two of, or one bring of on each, or like, you can do two out of the three is what I mean. Too easy, okay. If you say so, let's bring on that next wave. He seems to be handling it. I like Beepo. That's his name, right? Is it Beepo or Beemo? It's Beemo. Beepo is something else. Uh. Maybe. Bemo holds the sign, he says round three. That was, that was cute. Oh, look at this, we got the blue balloons. No, some of them got by. Oh boy. Now what? It, it froze. Uh. Oh, Zang. They're headed for the tree fort. Yes, they are. Looks like you could use some help. Hey. It's Max, uh, the monkey. I didn't know Max could talk. The path to victory. So they can like all talk. Forward. That's really interesting. I mean, I think it's really nice that they can even full on just like have all the Adventure Time cast. You. Name's Max. I'm a bit of an expert when it comes to popping balloons. Keep an eye on the health gauge up there. Balloons that slip past you will cost you some lives. If you hit zero, the balloons win. Let's make sure that doesn't happen. 
Alright, so I wonder if there'll be more voice acting past this, or if it's just for the tutorial, you know? I do want to see real quick if there's a way to bring up the options. I don't think so. Can't even pause right now, so I guess this is gonna be what it is. They're a little quiet, so I do want to turn their audio up, but Max has like a level on the bottom left, or like a star or something. A little weird, but <laughs> look at Finn, he's just swinging and swinging. Max gets one too, ready? Boop. <laughs> Dude, you really are an expert. I'm just warming up. Watch this. Oh yeah, what's going on now? So I can select him and upgrade long distance. Nice. Now I can hit the balloons from further away. All right, let's get to it. We're in round five. Looks like we're beating up some more balloons. And obviously this is gonna pick up the pace soon enough. We're just trying to learn the basics, which is pretty cool. But yeah, we're just trying to defend the tree fort. This is just so much fun. I wonder what other, like, I, I wonder if it's gonna be mostly monkeys or is it gonna be mostly Adventure Time characters or just an even mix? the last of them, for now. All right, level complete. Cool. I mean, I would like to play some more. Now show me the loot. Oh, we get loot, Chief Ford Exterior, normal, round five. What do we get? Coins, 100 of them, cool. And we get five gems, okay, this is where it comes into being free to play, I suppose. And we get a new power, nice. And 60 experience, there's a lot of stuff in this chest right now. Hey, all right, so cool. So that is all of our loot, let's go home. If you change your mind about where you want to place a character, you can sell them from their upgrade menu. We know about that. So it seems like if we understand the balloons basics, which you will as well if you watch my B to D6 series, things should be going pretty well. We should understand hey, everything just on? fine. Ah, he's a balloon! Whoa, calm down, homie. It's just me. I'm practicing my balloon shape for BMO's birthday party. Jake, we were just attacked by balloons. Max helped me hold them off. Sorry, what? Let's just go. Jake is just not paying attention. All right, so we got new character, Jake. <laughs> His weapon type is an instrument. He has two abilities, uh, which this one is ability ties up a nearby Moab and damages it. And then also a partner with Finn to use awesome attacks. I like that. Pros, variety of attack types, cons, slow attack speed. So another new character for us to try. And then we got Max. Uh, his weapon type is darts. He has two abilities as well. He has ability max spins around firing darts everywhere. And then another ability, Max's attacks do mega damage to Moabs. And his pros are low cost efficient, cons are low damage. All right, so I guess maybe this might be like this other- like... good. The balloons have spread throughout, ooh. It looks like something's going down in the Candy Kingdom. We better hurry. All right, so we gotta go to the Candy Kingdom and save some stuff there. Ooh. I like it. So, like I was saying, maybe you can only put one of each tower down. Maybe that's sort of the big thing about this game. It definitely seems to be a fair bit different, but we're going to Candy Kingdom, Candy Cornered. I think that's one out of five skull difficulty, so it should be pretty easy. Oh no, she's all tied up. I'll save you. A cry for help arrives from the Candy Kingdom. And then locks uh, Princess Bubblegum too, Candy Cornered. All right, let's give it a shot. This is really, really weird. Uh, is, is anything Jake, gonna happen? PB's in trouble. We need to get to her right away. What? How do you know that? I have this letter here that says... Finn, I'm in trouble. You need to get here right away. Sure, as long as we can stop for ice cream on the way. <laughs> That's not right away. Finn, help! PB, who did this? Who tied you up? It'd be funny if Jake had an ice cream in his hands. Never mind me. Protect the candy citizens. Oh boy, we gotta protect them from balloons. Looks like it's a candy corner. We have this level right here. Let's give it a shot. Candy throne room. So it looks like we can choose our difficulty and stuff. Um, we can even choose our powers if we wanted to. Actually, I can't. We're still like in the tutorial mode. The circle around the character shows their range. Make sure to place them close enough to the track that they can reach the balloons. No problem. I'll do that if I need to. Wow, okay, so this is like the throne room. Balloons get to the candy citizens. Okie doke. You know I can just lean over there and cut you free, right? Concentrate, Finn. <laughs> all right, well, who's this little guy? Who's gonna protect the, the candy citizens that are all just on the throne having a good time? We'll start with Finn. I think we'll have him like in the corner here. That way you can just sort of have like the, the most you could possibly hit. And then we do have some room for some other characters. So let's just like do a uh, max back that way. Round one's coming in. And 
I want to check out their upgrades for sure this time, but I also want to get Jake in the in the mix as well. He has a slower fire rate, so I wanted to make sure I get these guys first. I'll probably have Jake right at the beginning. We just sort of have like a nice even spread of everybody working together. It is a really pretty game though. I like the 3D characters. Like everything looks like Adventure Time, which is nice. All right, so we already have Limber Limbs. I don't really know what that does. Oh, we can take a look. Whoa! Okay, so this is an interesting upgrade path. It's sort of hard to follow, but uh, like for Limber Limbs, right? Uh, Limber Limbs increases hit area of all attacks. Okay, that's good. I don't know if there's something, let's get that now. Let's have them a little bit more range. And then we'll save up $400 so that we can get uh, Jake in the mix and just try that out. I don't know if the characters have like experience or anything. But yeah, that's how we do that. Uh, and there's like combo moves. Like we need Princess Bubblegum nearby, bound by word. Very interesting. But he's like, it seems like he's level one with the little star next to his name. I gotta assume that's what that means. Maybe soon enough we'll unlock like character experience or maybe there's like stars we can get that we can put into characters. I'm sure we'll find out along the way. So like I said at the very beginning of the episode, I don't know how much of this game I'm going to play. It really depends on how interested you guys are. So if you wanna see more of this game, be sure to let me know. I'll definitely play like four or five episodes to taste test it to see if you guys like it. But uh, beyond that, I'll have to really see if you know things are going well with it. But uh, you know, in the meantime, we have over 20 episodes of Bloons Tower Defense 6 you can check out and enjoy while you're waiting for more episodes of this series. So I hope you enjoyed that. New hero just released there, uh, Benjamin the Hacker Monkey. Uh, that was really cool, love checking him out. And we've of course checked out uh, Churchill, the tank monkey that released a couple weeks back. So we're almost there to the $400. We just need to pop a couple more balloons, round four now. We gotta survive 10 rounds on the top, right? So there's a lot of stuff here that's fundamentally different from your average balloons game, which is really cool. They actually tried something different with this. I really, like, that's why I wasn't really sure if I wanted to do many episodes on this. I thought it was just gonna be a reskin balloons game just with some Adventure Time characters and not really be all too much um, inventive beyond that. But now we have Jake. Looks like he's ready to go. And he has like, yeah, he really does have like a nice variety of attacks and they all seem to, you know, destroy a different amount of balloons. And he's going for it. I think that he should probably focus on the strongest, I'm not gonna change him from first to strong. Yeah. For uh, Finn, I want him to focus on first. So that's pretty good. When it comes to upgrades, I mean, I think we should focus on upgrading Jake. Oh, hey, Princess Bubblegum. Cool, she's just, she's just ready to go. I can't press anything. You had a bubblegum blaster under there the whole time. Wait a minute, did the balloons tie you up or did you have an accident with the blaster? <laughs> Look, more balloons. <laughs> I need to conduct more tech ready. Okay, so she looks like she can help too. So we got like the whole gang out right now. So we have our new hero, which is of course Princess Bubblegum. Cool to see that she's jumping into the action. Um, when it comes to Jake here, I wanna make sure he has like an ax foot. That's cool, so now he has his more moves coming about. So it looks like he actually does have three tiers. Okay. Oh, I see now, so that does make sense. It is sort of similar to BDD6 in that way. I had to make sure. So we could really like Jake of all trades uh, gives small boost to all attacks and skills. And then, man, there's like even beyond that though, it like bounces between things. This is actually a lot more involved. Hmm. And there's a the maze hand, which if we take a look at that, Jake stretches his hand to a big spiky maze. And then butt push. Jake uses his butt to push balloons back. There's lots of stuff going on then. All right now I'll focus on the mace hand and see if we can't get that going on. Make that a little bit easier for us. But between like all of our different heroes here, we should be fine. I don't think it's gonna be too big of an issue. So that's great. Um, let's keep moving. Well actually, buy that. But as you can see, you can still get the third tier. So maybe it is a little different. I like, he's like swinging like crazy. He's destroying everything. Nobody can even touch anything. Okay, Prince's Bubblegum got four damage worth of stuff going on there. I like it. <laughs> Is going crazy. Oh, so she's almost like a, a glue gunner with how she did that. She sort of slowed that balloon down a little bit. So they have their equivalents in some ways. I mean, Finn here is actually pretty pretty unique with how he does things. So we have the sword player. Oh, and that unlocks another thing down this way. So maybe you could just get like every single tier upgraded. Like what if I did now sword master? That doesn't like lock anything out except for like the needs medallion of Rogen's equipped. Okay, so we can't do that one because we don't have like, a certain item. It is so different, I like it. And I like how there's a story, it's all really cool. Whoa! Incoming. I don't know if we're ready for this. I was not prepared for a Moab. We might lose. Oh no, come on, faster, 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 faster. Come on. This is not good. What are we gonna do? Uh, frozen at the moment. Mother of all balloons, what is that thing? 
That thing is a lot of trouble, and we're not strong enough to take it down. It's funny, because he actually said what it was. Mother of all balloons, a Moab. M-O-A-B. Oh no. <laughs> if it reaches the candy citizens, then it's game over for all of us. Can't we just retry or continue for coins or something? Yeah, probably. Time to call in the big guns. Okay, oh, powers. Yeah, okay, this is where we forget the powers. Tip, powers. Powers are single-use items that have huge impact on the game. They can range from characters boost, or character boosts to full screen effects, which devastate all balloons. Powers will level up with your overall player rank. Use the hug explosion now to save the Candy Kingdom. Okay, so if I go here, and I, I earned this earlier from the treasure chest, so I just activate it, and goodbye wow, there, really? Moab. Finn, that was awesome. What was that? The power of hugs. Hooray, hugs. Well, whatever it was, it just saved the Candy Kingdom. Hooray. All right, so I saved the Candy Kingdom, and as you can see, the level is complete. You picked the wrong team today, Blue. <laughs> All right, so that's very cool. We got ourselves a chest, and as you can see within, there's more coins, so we got 40. One gem, some experience. Who is that for? Who is the experience for though? Like our character, I suppose? Well, there's another level done. We'll try to get another, like, like one more level, or actually we'll get a couple more done I'm actually. I'm going to analyze some balloon samples. I just need to find, ah, here it is, my old BWI. Your what? P-bubs? What in the hootin's a BWI? My balloon wave indexer, silly. According to this data, many more powerful balloons. Bring it on. They're inflated. Oh no, what happened? What happened? It just skipped a couple. Stopped. I don't know. Send me the Enchiridion. We don't have it. Hot Dog Princess borrowed it to. She's in grave danger. We have to go now. Oh my. So now we gotta go and save her. So let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> and we can do this on normal. So we can replay some levels too. If we wanted to. And that would, I guess, uh give us more rewards, which is pretty cool. Send more to you know, normal balloons. Oh no, we gotta save you, hot dog princess. So it looks like the balloons are coming in that way and they sort of loop around, which is interesting. So we wanna choose, probably, yeah, I think this is a good spot for Finn. Sword, and then we got Max we can put somewhere. I'm gonna put him back there. So we, we just have like a good mixture. Oh my, who is that? Uh, I'm gonna guess it's some kind of little helpful guy. I guess they're sort of hot dog princesses, hot dog guards. That's pretty cool, I like that. I would love to max out a character. Sort of see how that works. So if we could just keep working on Finn, I think that'd be a good idea. Um, even though I'd love to check out Princess Bubblegum and stuff, we'll try to do an episode where we check out each character, you know, in that way. But um, for now, let's do Sword Player, because that'll probably give us more damage. And then we have, what else? We could do Ratter Faster, which if we take a look at this. Ratter Faster. Finn attacks much faster. We just got Sword Player, uh, increases Weapon Pierce, then also increases Weapon Pierce even further. Limber Limbs, increases hit area of the attacks. Needs Jake nearby. So for this one, Brofus gives cash and lives at the end of each round, which actually sounds really cool, so we might want to combo with that. I feel like this is actually different from last time. Maybe not, maybe not, actually. No, I'm wrong. Okay, it was the same as last time. For now, we should be able to handle this just like this. Eventually, we'll get Jake's. Maybe we can get that other upgrade. That'd be pretty cool. So I guess in some ways, it is worth it to combo up characters. Okay, so what is right in the gloves? Let me check out that one real quick. Uh, stuns most. Uh, stuns the most powerful regular balloon in range. Cool. All right, well, we got that going on. Let's do Limber Limb, so we have a little bit more range. Yeah, the Medallion of Bro Brogens. Don't quite have that, so I can't do this one. Increases damage from sword attacks. Huh. So we'll have to find the Medallion of Brogen somewhere, somehow. Don't really know what that's gonna be. But if we can get Ratter faster now, I think that's gonna be good for getting rid of some more of these blues and stuff. I really just want Finn to go all in on this. That's my big focus for the moment. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I'm having fun with this game. It's really weird in some ways. These balloons are moving pretty slow. But uh, we're handling it one way or another. So we'll try to get $200 here to get Ratter faster, and then we'll probably work on Sword Master. Raddest fastest, which obviously is going to make Finn attack even faster. I think it's gonna be better to get attack speed for, or attack damage first. And then we already have like the Princess Bubblegum bonus over here increases attack speed after Balloon escapes. Not really too worried about that one at the moment, but we could cluster them up then. But yeah, I can't put another fin down. So it is a little bit different. You have to be picky with your towers because you can't put down more than one fin. 
That's a little intimidating. Oh, oh, okay. So those guys are sort of taking damage from their health, but we're still handling it just fine. Hmm. If we get $200 for the Swordmaster, though, I think that'd be the best bet. There we go. Moab Ripper. Sword attacks do extra damage to Moabs and above. That's pretty cool. Come on, Jake or Finn. I keep on getting them mixed up. You can do it. Just keep slicing. Keep slicing and dicing. Oh, that guy took a little bit of damage. It's fine, though. So next is Drought as fastest, for sure. That's gonna be the next best thing. Round six. Come on, keep slicing. What's cool is that you can hit more than one thing at once with that little slice. That's nice. Sort of like a, uh, when I think about it, it's sort of like one of the uh, attack shooters in the normal balloons games. So I wonder if there'll be any other normal monkeys. Like I know in the, the little main menu, we saw a, uh, a, a super monkey. So maybe there's only a couple of monkeys, but it's mostly Adventure Time characters. I don't really know. Okay, so for this next thing, we need a requires level three starred fin. Like I don't really know what that means. We'll have to find out together. But uh, for now, we got some good stuff going on. Can't wait to see how we level up characters. That'll be cool. Let's keep tearing up this stuff. We'll do the right in the gloves next. Cause I just really wanna see how powerful I can get him. I mean, maybe I should try something with Princess Bubblegum because if I take a look, I can't get this combo with Jake. Oh, well, I mean, I guess, meh. We'll try Princess Bubblegum. Yeah, that'll be a little bit cheaper to get to. I mean, she's 650, she's pretty expensive, so maybe not. No, one of the hot dog guys. Oh, well, that's a bummer. They're gonna take some more damage. Oh, we can get it now. Uh, right in the gloves. That'll be good. So we need to get Jake nearby or Princess Bubblegum. We'll do the Jake one though, because it's a little bit more affordable. But yeah, now he can kick them, which is definitely helping. Like all these reds, they don't stand a chance. Oh, here come the green and the yellow, so that's where it gets a little scary. And they're coming, getting by real good. Oh boy. Oh, but more and more popping up. So the map idea is really interesting. All right, we're still quite not at 400. Hmm. This is getting a little scary. I'm glad we have Max back there to help out. Ooh, the yellows and the pinks. This is actually getting really scary. We gotta be careful. I'm glad we have 200 health. Come on, Max. Oh yeah, that's right, they do still have to loop around. So we're still sort of in the clear. Okay, get Jake and put him here. That sounds great. So 1,400 for the bro fist. And I'm guessing that's like an activatable ability. Gives cash and money. Actually, maybe not. Cool. So 1,400 might be a little bit tough to afford and probably not really worth it if we're about to end the round. But I was really curious about it, you know? Oh well, final round. So let's just do what we can with what we got. We can get the 300, so we can get the ax foot. That'll definitely make a big difference. We got all these yellows making their way in. Come on, keep going. Yeah, there we go, level complete. And that got us the Enchiridion. All right, so what do we get in this chest? Looks like we get more coins. Can I like speed this up at all? I can. So we can just sort of see like, in total we got 20 coins, 60 experience, not so bad. Complete all the maps and adventure to unlock an adventure chest full of awesome rewards. That's what I'm after. Okay, so everybody's hanging out. Hot dog the game sort of slows down. Oh, Finn, I was so scared. Oh, who's your cute little friend? HP, it's me, Jake. <laughs> I think she was talking about me. There's only room for one furry sidekick around here, buddy. Oh boy, you better watch it. Finn, where'd this guy come from anyway? Hot dog princess, do you still have the Enchiridion? Yes, I've been sitting on it this whole time. According to the Enchiridion, popping balloons will give us access to wish orbs, which will grant unique weapons and epic loot. Unique weapons? Epic loot? Oh my glob, Jake, are you listening? Sure am, homie. It's level up time. Get ready. All right, so Princess Bubblegum, new character unlocked, weapon type gun. Abilities, as you can see, she has grants extra cash once per round, and then spray a jet of balloon popping jelly beans. That's pretty cool. Her pros are that she slows balloons with Bubblegum, but she has low damage. So she's definitely sort of a support type tower, but rank up, we're rank two, and our st starting cash increases because of that. that's actually a pretty big deal. Only by a couple dollars, but over time, I'm sure that'll add up. So we got the easy mode done. So because of that, we can get something out of this chest. Oh, this is cool, adventure rewards. I like this idea a lot. All right, what do we get inside? It is. Uh, coins, more coins, very nice. And is that it? I think that's it. Oh, we got some gems, we got fin cakes, we got some shards, a wish orb, and a new power, very nice. 
All right, cool. That was a worthwhile chest. I want to see what the new power is for sure. Um, hey, why is my face on those cakes? I'll explain those to you in a bit, Finn. Looks like you found a wish orb. Indeed we did. So there's a wish orb. I don't know what it does. Can I like select it? Wish orbs contain powerful items. Okay, can I open the wish orb too? We found our first wish orb. Sweet, sweet loot, here we come. All righty, so a common wish orb. Let's select it. Choose your loot. Um. Oh, okay, so I get to choose whichever one? So we can either do ice cream sundae, which is a common Jackpot. trinket. Three awesome pieces of loot. Oh, so I don't get to choose my loot, I don't know. Dibs on the ice cream. Guys, calm down. There's something you need to know about wish orbs. Aw oh, man, there's always a catch. Wish orbs will drop three pieces of loot, but you may only choose one, so choose wisely. My old sword. I haven't seen this in about five years. Come to Papa. All right, so as you can see, I, I guess it wants us to choose this, the Scarlet Sword. Uh, that's uncommon, which is pretty cool. If I take a look at its info, uh, no special properties, but it's pierces plus two. Uh, plus one per three stars. That's actually really cool. Um, we also got a pocket watch over this way. Um, increases effect duration, bubblegum ice, etc., for 5%, plus an additional 1% per star level. And then for the ice cream sundae, gives a 3% speed boost instead of, uh, instead if equipped to Jake. All right, um, so I guess it's just like a 1% speed boost, if not. All right, Scarlet, let's keep her. Finn, really wanted that ice cream. Before they go back into the abyss, you have the option of getting a second piece. Now we're talking. Aw, oh, man, it costs gems. Don't worry, buddy, I got you back. Okay, so I guess we receive a couple extra gems to do this. So I can choose the ice cream and get it. Wow, 50 gems, I, that sounds like a lot. The best. Can I eat it on the way home? Jake, we're not going home. We have balloons to take care of and we need to prepare. Follow me. All right, so looks like we're not quite done with our adventure. We're now moving on to our characters. Finn, it's time to equip your new old sword. All right, so we got this one right here. Awesome. Um, PB, how do I equip my sword again? You just hold it. It's easy. Here, I'll show you. Okay, so I guess we select the uh, weapon plus sword, and then our one sword that we can choose for right now. So it looks like he has a lot of weapons to choose from, which is pretty cool. We can even check out the info. Before equipping a weapon, you can see its stats and any special abilities here. Go ahead, equip it now. All right then, so the only thing it has is plus two, plus one, plus for each three stars, which we've already read, the signature sword of Finn the Human, equip. All right, so Perfect. there we go. Told you it was easy. Yeah! Let's get back out there and try it out on those rubbery bandits. Finn, remember those cakes with your face on them? We all have a special token which we can use to level up. Oh, really? In your case, it's the cakes. Level up? I'm ready! It's easy. Try this. Okay, so we just press the level up button because we have three Finn cakes. All right, that's interesting, and that'll get us to the second level. Cool. All right, Finn has leveled up. So his slots and lots, he got plus one trinket slot, upgrades improved, didn't even get to read those. But he's getting like a bunch of stuff. That's good, that makes him a lot more viable, I suppose. Very right, cool, yeah, so. That felt awesome. I feel radder, faster, and even more powerful. That's because all of your fighting skills increase each time you reach a new star level. These balloons are crazy strong. We'll need to keep leveling up if we're going to beat them. All right, so let's head back this way. And is there anything else we need to learn? I would think so. Okay, Jake, get to your ice cream the same way Finn got to his sword. All right, so right there. And we should have a trinket for him, which is the ice cream, which is more beneficial for him than it is any other character. So definitely worthwhile. Right there with the ice cream. Info. And as you can see, description, so delicious it makes attacks faster. It must be the sugar. Most effective if equipped to an ice cream kind of sore like Jake. So yeah, if you just gave it to a normal person, it would give you plus 1% speed, but for Jake, it's plus 3% speed. So definitely worth giving it to him. All right. So good. I feel like I have more energy or something. Like I'll be able to attack 3% faster in battle. <laughs> That's the spirit, Jake. Can we get back out there now? Yeah, let's go. I want to find another orb and get more ice cream. All right. So that should be good. 
If there's there any more though, it doesn't look like it. Oh, here we go. This is just the beginning. Now it's up to you to travel around Ooh. Eradicating the balloon threat, embark on exciting new adventures, discover awesome allies, unearth epic weapons, and uncover tons of trinkets to aid you in battle. Just don't forget to stop and get Jake something to eat. What are you waiting for? It's adventure time! Very, very cool. So we'll continue exploring this game's story soon enough, but I think that's gonna wrap it up for the first episode. Like I've already said, let me know if you wanna see more of this game, but that's gonna wrap it up for the first episode of Bloon Adventure Time Tower Defense. If you want to just put a video, make sure you comment Adventure Zebra, so now you've watched at the end of the you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing and join the Zebra Herd. At the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.